Hello, we are Piper and Nightingale, and we're so happy to be here to play for you today at Artlet. And we're going to start with a special version of a classic folk song by Lee Hayes and Pete Seeger called If I Had a Hammer. But our version that we wrote just for you today is called If I Had a Paintbrush. performing this song, I learned just how universal the story of the Ugly Duckling is. As I played it all over the place, I met people from all over the world. And when they heard that this was the story of the Ugly Duckling, like people from Spain would say, oh yeah, we know that story, that's a la petito, petito feo in Spanish. And I met somebody from Croatia and they knew this story. They said, yes, that is Vrujno Pache. In, uh, in our language. We know that story from when we were little. And I've met people from all over who know the story of the Ugly Duckling, so here's our song.
This next song was written by some very good friends of mine who play in a band called Friction Farm. And they were inspired to write this song by the book The Year of Billy Miller by Kevin Hankus. And I bet if you went into the library, you might just be able to find that book. They said it's a great book and it's all about Billy Miller, who is a second grade student and uh, his adventures. And so we took it, I, I rewrote it a little bit. Um, I wrote a special verse in honor of Piper because she's a teacher. So I thought that would be appropriate for this song. So this is my year. to give you a special little demonstration of some of the instruments that we're playing today. Uh, I've got three wind instruments here and just to show you how different something can sound even though these are all wind instruments listen to the difference between these. This is a flute and we have a kazoo Recorder, penny whistle, mountain whistle of some kind. I'm not sure of the exact name of this. So they all have very different sounds, even though they're very similar instruments in that they're all wind instruments. And now Piper is going to show you a couple of really cool string instruments that she plays. Hi, and I play two uh, stringed instruments. Um, the first one is the ukulele. Ukulele is usually associated with Hawaii, but it actually came from Portugal initially. Um, and keep a lookout on your Broward County Library calendars because they often offer free lessons. So ukulele, you've heard it a bunch, but... Let's see, ukulele. And then the other 
other instrument I play is also a four string instrument, but it sounds much, much different. Um, it's a contrabass, bass violin, double bass, all the same. Um, I was playing primarily uh, jazz with the Silver Nightingale today, but um, it's also common in bluegrass, folk, and classical music. And I'm going to play a little excerpt from a classical piece using the bow. It has a completely different sound with the bow. Our next song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, is connected with the 1900 Frank Albaum children's novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. So it has a very strong literature connection, and that book was then turned into the movie, The Wizard of Oz, and that's where this song comes from. This is our last song we've really enjoyed playing for you today. Thank you so much to Pompano Beach Library and the City of Pompano Beach for inviting us here to play for you today. And for our last song, we're going to play Peace Train by Yusuf Islam, also known as Cat Stevens. And we love this song because it's all about people getting together to do good things, which is exactly what's happening at Artlit today. This is Peace Train. Begun. 